I'm really proud of the AAPI community for standing up against hate. We in the U.S. Congress stepped up and passed legislation to stop and punish hate against Asian American Pacific Islanders. And we all need to do our part against bigotry, whether it's anti-Muslim bigotry, anti-Semitism, uh, anti-immigrant bigotry. But this, this, the, the, this hatred of Asian Americans was coming from the very biggest megaphones in the country for a while. And, you know, this ridiculous notions that Asian Americans are responsible for a virus, naming a virus after certain communities, that is a horrible form of uh, hate, targeting people. And we have to s call it out. We have to say it's unacceptable that we love the Asian American community, that it contributes so much to our country, and that we need to respect them and cherish their cultures. I think it's incredibly important to include AAPI history and culture in the education of our kids. And so I think that effort is really worthwhile for all of our kids. I've got four kids who, one is still in the public schools here and three went through them. My wife was a school teacher for eight years. She and I are both product of public schools. And having our public school curriculum uh, richly reflect AAPI history and culture would be a real plus for all of our kids. I think it's very important for us to open up our curriculum to the people who live here, to have our curriculum reflect the people who live here, and frankly, just for our curriculum to be looking out at the whole world. We need our kids to be citizens of the world. We need them to learn other languages, not just French and German and Spanish, those are great, but we need more kids learning Arabic and, and, and Mandarin and, and Farsi and the language of other Asian countries. So I think it's a great thing to, to change our curriculum and make it more inclusive. So I congratulate the community on that effort and I support it. I wanna see you